I'm Ashton Graham. And I am Shyler Harris. And, and this, this is the KES News. What's for lunch? <laughs> for tomorrow's lunch, we will have French bread pizza, broccoli with cheese, cucumber slices, and Meridian oranges. It will be third through fifth grade slushy day. Mr. Butcher will now announce the classes that had perfect attendance today. Thank you, Ashton. Classes with perfect attendance today, and we started a new month. In pre-K, Miss Wood. In kindergarten, Miss Goodman, Miss Graham, Miss Harris, and Miss Rice. In first grade, Miss Lee, Miss Peterson, and Miss Whitten. In second grade, Miss Brian, Miss Bassett, and Miss Kinney. In third grade, Miss Cruz, Miss Holder, Miss Massey, and Mr. McCoy. In fourth grade, Miss Ballard, Miss Ham, and Miss Scott. In fifth grade, Miss Chup. Also, Miss Hopkins and Miss McWhorter had perfect attendance today. Congratulations, class, and we're starting a new month to see who can uh, overtake our top dog from last month, Miss Escover. Mr. Meadows will now announce the top lunchroom classes today. Thank you, Shyler. Uh, Mr. Meadows is in a meeting, so I'm filling in for him today. But today started the month of September, so we got a new thing in the cafeteria. We're looking to recognize the best behaved, the most ready, the most respectful, the most responsible classes in the cafeteria. So each day, we're going to have three to five few classes that are going to be recognized. They're going to get their name in a, a, a drawing. And at the end of each month, we'll pull a drawing and we'll have a prize. This month, it's going to be you guys can throw a wet sponge or a pie in our face. We haven't decided which one that's going to be. So every person and the teacher will get something as well. Um, so we'll be getting that to you as well. So we're looking for the best classes. And today, we have three classes today. So the classes that were the best, the most ready, the most respectful, the most responsible, they weren't perfect, but they were the best in their day, was Miss Stevens' first grade class. So Miss Stevens, your name goes in the, in the hat. Miss Lee's first grade class, um, your name goes in the hat. And also Miss Cruz's third grade class. So all three of those classes will have their name put in the hat and we'll, you get chances, you can win it every day. You win it every day. And you have a chance to do that. And at the end of the month, we'll draw a name. Um, that class will get to throw a pie or wet sponge in Mr. Meadows or my face. And the teacher will be getting something as well. So um, this starts today. Congratulations, Miss Stevens, Miss Lee, and Miss Cruz. It's the joke of the day. Let's have some fun. It's the joke of the day. Let's have some fun. For today's joke of the day, we have Roy Kofer in Miss Hester's class. Roy, let's hear your joke. Okay. Why did the girl take toilet paper to a party? I don't know, Roy. Why did a girl take toilet paper to a party? Because she was a party pooper. <laughs> Back of the day, back of the day, back of the day, back of the day, back of the day. For the fact of the day, we will have Ryan McAllister in Miss Chubb's class. Ryan, what is the fact of the day? Octopi have no bones so they can fit in really tight spaces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, man, what's the good word? Crickets class. Emory, what is the vocabulary word of the day? Octopus. What is an octopus? Octopus is a sea animal that go, that lives in the water that has eight tentacles and eight tentacles. Hmm. Interesting. Now time, time for, for the game, game of the day. day. Game of the day. All right, Shyler, you're here for a fun game, okay? It used to be called What Are You Licking? But we're going to let you do a little bit more and just lick, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to blindfold you, okay? And you're going to be able to use three of your senses. You can use your fingers to so you touch a feel, you can smell it, or you can taste it. Those are the only three things you can do because you can't use your eyes yes, and you can't, well, I guess you can kind of use your ears if you want to <laughs> see what sound it makes. But it's using your senses and you got it. Three guesses to figure out what the item is. Okay? Alright, I promise you it's nothing that's gonna hurt you. Nothing that I promise you. Everything's clean. I cleaned everything off for you, so it's good. So you don't have to worry about that, okay? Sorry. 
All right, so you, you down for this? Sure. You want to try this? All right, so this is originally called What Am I Licking? You can lick it if you want to, but it's using my senses or some of them, okay? All right, here we go. So we're going to blindfold you like this, okay? Okay, can you breathe? Yes, sir. Okay, can you see? No, sir. No, so you can't see this hole? No, nope. okay, you don't know. Okay, exactly. All right, so we're ready. So here's our item. Okay, here's our item. And you got three guesses. Figure out, you can hear it, can't you? All right, so here you go. All right, put your hands up. All right, put it up like, let's move you closer. Come on, slap All right, so there you go. All right, so here you go. You can feel it. All right, what do you think? Um. What do you notice? Oh, it's a cinnamon roll. It's a cinnamon roll, okay? No, it's not a cinnamon roll. You want a cin cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick. No, it's not a cinnamon stick, so that's two. So so you've touched it. Do you want to taste it? You <laughs> I think you should lick it. <laughs> <laughs> so alright, so what is it now? Um You guys is your last guess. You can't smell it? Oh, um. Um. <laughs> this game is getting boring. <laughs> I guess something very quickly. Um, it is a. It's, three. It's a breakfast item. It is a breakfast item. What breakfast item is it? A, um. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Time's up. It is a apple strudel. Oh, very good. Thank you for playing. What am I licking? But you didn't lick it. You should lick it. And using my senses or some of them. Mr. Butcher wins. We do have three announcements for today. The first is that tomorrow is the deadline for the fundraiser money to be turned in. Please make sure that you return your fundraiser money tomorrow. We will start delivering the prizes soon. Second announcement is that our book fair will be open every day, this week starting at 8 a.m. Please make sure you go to your class first. The book fair closes at 3 each day. Final announcement for today is that the computer lab is open every day for you to work on Steady Island, Myon, or AR. The lab opens at 7.15. It is also open in the afternoon until 4.30. If you stay after school for the lab, of course your parents will have to pick you up and send you with a note. We do have one more announcement. Tomorrow is College Football Spirit Day. So tomorrow is the start of the college football weekend, and we encourage everyone to wear their favorite, the absolute favorite college football team. You might be a Georgia fan. You can wear Georgia. You might be a Georgia Tech fan. Wear Georgia Tech. You might be like me, um, which is the best school to, to root for is uh, the Ohio State. You might be like Miss D and be a South Carolina fan. Um, you know, you might be a crazy person like Mr. Um, Coy and be a Florida fan and wear your Florida stuff. You know, everyone will make fun of you, but that's fine. But tomorrow, wear your favorite college football team's jersey or something like that to show spirit. If you don't have a college football team, you know, that you like, you can wear Appalachian spirit wear or you can wear Kennedy Elementary spirit wear. But tomorrow is college football spirit day. Come and join us. The student success. It's now time for our car riders and after school buses to come to the gym. When you come to the gym, you need to walk on the right side of the hallway and be silent. When you get to the gym, you need to sit at your grade level rows and be silent so you can hear your car called. If you are a bus rider, you need to pay attention to the announcements so that you can hear your bus being called. When, you, when your bus is called, please make sure that you go straight to your bus. Also, make sure you walk on the right side and, and you are silent. Please, please make sure you pay attention, attention so you don't miss your bus. I'm Ashton. I'm Shyler. And this, this is the KES News. See ya! <laughs>